Fred Lucas with CNS News joining us tonight. And, Fred, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thanks for having me. Boy, this is, I, I got to tell you, this is a, a major development in the Fast and Furious story. Um, new information about Kevin O'Reilly, the White House staffer, who was talking with uh, Bill Newell about Fast and Furious for a good six months or so. Uh, when uh, congressional investigators wanted to meet with Kevin O'Reilly, he was transferred to Iraq. We knew that. We knew that the White House uh, said that uh, there was no real reason uh, for congressional investigators to, uh, to need to speak with Kevin O'Reilly, so they actually blocked uh, uh, the congressional investigators from speaking with him. But, Fred, now we've got new information about how this transfer actually happened. This was far from ordinary, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was very uh, unusual. Uh, as, as soon as Bill Newell uh, was, took questions from the committee, uh, this was on a hearing July 26th of last year, uh, uh, just days after, I mean, uh, in August of 2011, uh, Kevin O'Reilly was uh, transferred over to Iraq. He was uh, transferred out of the Obama White House as a White House staffer and to the State Department, sent to Iraq, and... Um, with with the, the apparent uh, apparently, so he wouldn't be here in the United States to talk to people. Uh, now, when you for, when, yeah, when, yeah, when you say apparently, I mean like they are. He went and took a job in Iraq that had already been given to someone else. Yes, yeah. right, 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 right. Exactly, exactly. Uh, the, so someone else had, had already been appointed to this job. They'd gone through a lengthy hiring process. Their spouse had already moved to Baghdad. That is amazing. Uh, so, so so apparently. For what it seems like, and I, I, wanna, I don't want to prejudge, uh, of course, but what it seems like a, uh, a branch move for a cover-up, uh, someone's life was fairly disrupted because they didn't get the job and assignment they were going to get in, in Baghdad, and their uh, family had to uproot. Um, you, you could fast forward, though, into this, this year, 2012 in March, the attorney, Thomas G. Connolly, uh, the attorney representing Kevin O'Reilly, the former White House staffer who was in Iraq, um, said that his client would be willing to do a telephone interview uh, with committee staff if the White House had no objection. The White House did have an objection. They, they cited, you know, various uh, executive uh Statutes and so forth and so on, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know. Uh, so and 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 of course, uh, this over this summer, uh, the White House, President Obama himself, uh, enact uh, executive privilege. So it, it, it does seem like there's a there's something going on here that doesn't pass the smell test, and uh, there, the White House is more involved in Fast and Furious than they're saying. Kevin O'Reilly did say in his communications with William Newell that he was going to pass this information along to two other White House officials. Uh, we, we don't know how much they know about it, and we don't know how much, how high this goes within the White House. But we do know that the Fast and Furious scandal does reach into the White House. Well, yeah, clearly, and and I got to tell you, Fred. I, I mean, if nothing else, there needs to be uh, some accounting as to why exactly Mr. O'Reilly was transferred to Iraq so suddenly. This is very out of the ordinary. Uh, I mean, it, you know, when somebody gets transferred, it is a major, uh, as you say, a, a a a major event in their life and in a you know a family's life. So this is a there's a month long process that the State Department puts in place for these families when they transfer overseas. Uh, the fact that this guy's wife was already waiting for him there in uh, wow. Iraq, I, I got to tell you, you're right. It doesn't pass the smell test. What What is uh, Daryl Issa saying about this right now? Well, Daryl Issa is uh, threatening to subpoena Kevin O'Reilly if they, if they do not uh, comply with the uh, committee's invitation for an interview. Uh, so so uh, the, one interesting thing is the State Department is not saying where Kevin O'Reilly is at. Uh, they're saying, as of right now, he's no longer working in Iraq. Uh, other than that, he's in between assignments, uh, uh, quote, in between assignments, and um, when, when they know his next assignment, then they'll be able to say. Uh, who, who knows when that will be? I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's all a very odd situation. Yeah, Definitely. All right. Well, listen, Fred, I, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you guys are reporting this. I'm glad that this is on uh, Congress's radar. As I said, 
This is a, a big development uh, in Fast and Furious. Appreciate you joining us tonight, and I look forward to talking again very soon. All right. Thanks a lot for having me. You bet. Fred Lucas with uh, CNSNews.com joining us here on Cam & Company.